Well, I thought I had recorded how I painted this yesterday. This is um, how I, I like to do my painted papers. It's probably the easiest and cleanest because I don't have to get things too awful messy. I have a piece of cardboard back here and you'll notice these wonderful ridges on here and that's what makes uh, these kind of marks. So I started with that and then I'm, I moved on to um, other ways of getting texture on this paper in the different colors. Frankly, I'm going to put a little vinyl or latex glove on my hand, my right hand. I probably won't bother doing it on my left hand. I'm going to show you again because I, I failed miserably because I don't even know what happened to the video I had created <laughs> doing this. So, but first things first, um, I'm going to use... My favorite paper, cheapest, and it's just quite wonderful. It's the Deli Wrap. It's called Deli Wrap. You get a whole box of it, and this box I think came from Costco, and it's got 500 sheets of it in it. And the nice thing is, it's 12 by 10 and three quarters, which means you can do a lot of things with it. Lately, I've been making book boxes, and frankly, the 12 inch width is uh, quite helpful. Uh, for doing that. So um, I want to just show you some of the tools I use. It's going to be like gift cards or key cards and paint. And then later I will show you how all kinds of texture can be used. These are, I have a box full of, um, I have a lot of these because I have other hobbies as well. But anyway, these are um, embossing folders. Yeah, and I got a whole bunch of them. So they're wonderful. And the nice thing is nothing really gets terribly dirty. It looks like one of these I got a little bit of green paint on, but nothing gets so terribly dirty that you have to spend hours cleaning and scrubbing. So first thing I'm going to do is just um, put a little bit of paint. And, and the nice thing about this is it doesn't use much paint. So I'm going to just squeeze out a little bit of uh, paint. And any paint will do. Uh, this I probably should have done a... I think I have a, <laughs> I think I have another one of white, but I did want to have some white on here. So not, not maybe I'm going to pause this and go get my other. Okay, these are acrylic paints. Uh, I got this whole big cheap jar, Artist's Loft, not a very great brand, but for this it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put some. Whoops, that's more than I really wanted. And look, I got some paint on my finger. I should have brought a paper towel. Anyway, okay, so back to the credit card. Here's here's what you get when you smooth it on. See all those great lines just from the cardboard? And um, you can also move it so you get some different lines. So with just a piece of cardboard, look at the fun things, the fun way you can uh, take this paint. What I'm trying to do is get it to all the way down because... Lately, I've been using, when I started doing this, I didn't take the paint all the way to the edge, edges. That's why I'm using this um, piece of cardboard. Uh, well, it looks like I didn't put all that much paint, and I'm using a lot of it. So, anyway, um, just look at that. Just simple as can be to get a simple... Um, way to get a background papers or even beautiful papers. So now I'm going to add um, another color. Hopefully this will work a little bit better. Oops, there it goes. <laughs> All right, there we are. And um, I might pick up a clean gift card and just give it a go. Um, I know I can't keep everything in. I'm so close to the edge. I can't keep, well, I can't keep all of it in, in the uh, frame of the camera, but you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to just get all the edges of this uh, paint mixed with, and it's quite simple. And the dried paint, uh, paper. This dried paper is pretty darn awesome. 
it just feels lovely. And as you move it around, you see you get, just with this one cardboard sheet, you have an interesting, somewhat interesting design. Scrape your thing and you get different colors. And the more you scrape, the more your pattern is visible. So there, I've got that now. And guess what? I lied. There's some paint on my fingers. If I had just only used my gloved hand. So now I'm going to put a little bit of, I love pink and green this time of year. Reminds me of our wonderful Azalea Festival here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Everything is pink and green and it's beautiful. Although I fear this year the azaleas are blooming early <laughs> and the a festival is not until April, so they may be gone. Anyway, so um, add a little bit more interest, okay? I've, I've got this covered pretty nicely. Now I'm going to use, let's see, which side will I use? I'll use this side. It doesn't really matter. Everything's wonderful. This paper is quite sturdy, too. It doesn't look, it looks a lot fragile. But now you'll see I'm getting a wood-like, a wood pattern, grain pattern which is a little too much like what I started with. So let me get something a little more different, a little different. So I'm sliding and I'm using uh, this one. It's a, a Darice, they're pretty cheap too, uh, embossing folder. Now see the roses coming up? Look at that. Isn't that quite nice? Yeah, look, see the, see the beautiful designs. Let me get some down here. See the pretty roses coming up? The roses coming up. Love this time of year. And this is kind of an interesting design. And as I move the paper around and scrape on this beautiful, let's see, I've got some paint down here. Scrape along the paint. I'm trying to keep my embossing folder clean because I'm lazy. I'd rather just have to do fun things and sometimes washing things out, just not that much fun. At least not for me. Might be for you. So see what I'm getting? Beautiful. Nothing. This is quite nice. Let's see. see if I can. I'm sorry. I, I can't keep looking in my camera. I'm trying to make sure I get as much of this as I can. Let me move the whole project up here. Look at those pretty roses. But you can see the texture is just lovely. And you scrape the paint, you can scrape it. And now I'm getting some really interesting stuff. The only thing I want to do now is scrape the edges. Yeah, so I can have a fully covered sheet. In the past, like I said before, I used to not go to the edge, which kept things a little cleaner even, if you don't want to go to the edge. The paper is so inexpensive, but some of the projects, I really want to use the whole sheet. And so if I can get co color on the entire sheet, it can be more useful. So, um, what I have dirty to two of these cards and my hand. I should have put a glove on this hand, but I do have another one of these cards, so I'll use a clean one. And now I'm going to put, um, I'll put some, uh, I hate to put yellow, but I might. I think I'm going to put some more white. And get another texture. Let's see. Let's see. What do I got? So many. This is a real pretty one. I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be a little bit more floral. So I open it up, stick it under the paper here, get my card, and use another card. If I don't use my hands, I'm going to use this card to um, steady the paper. So if I had done that in the beginning, I would have cleaner fingers. Can you see the texture coming up? 
and let's see if I can get this corner down here. And believe me, when it dries, it's it's really pretty. And then you can uh, do other things on top of it. You know, you can put like um, rubber stamps, but it's a great background. It, it's quite pretty used in and of itself as well. So you get the idea. And so I'm going to pause. And then I have this tool just laying around. So let's see what I can do with that. It's scraping the paint. It's really not um, doing too much. It's just creating lines on the top. So here's what I have to wash. I have these three cards that have paint on them. I think my I got a flick of paint on the wash on the uh, one embossing folder, but I can just easily uh, do that. So I'm going to let this dry, and hopefully you all will find this a quick and easy and fairly clean way of getting something done really quickly.